Welcome. Today, let's go over the basics of how to calibrate your air temperature sensor and coolant temperature sensor in Tuner Studio for Megasquirt products. So the first thing we do is go up to Tools, and you need to unlock the calibrations. So Tuner Studio has this feature where they lock the calibration just so it doesn't get messed with and go uh, get skewed or have any problems with the calibration because these are very important sensors. Once you're done calibrating them, you typically just lock them again and don't touch them. So in this case, we need to unlock them because they haven't been touched yet. This is, would be on a fresh installation and you just hit burn. In this case, I'm hitting close because the controller is not connected. But if you go back up to tools, now you'll see that the option is not grayed out anymore for the thermistor uh, tables. So you click this and it gives you the option at the top for what sensor you want to calibrate. So you need to calibrate the coolant temperature and the air temperature sensor. Typically, in a lot of applications, you're going to use one of the common sensors. Uh, so they give you a list, an actual drop down here that you can click on. So GM are typically big ones that you would use. Uh, BMW E30 style, those are like a metric style that are really common and like the universal Bosch's that they have here. Uh, let's just go with the GM for now. And basically when you click that in, it just fills in the table for you. These are known sensors that a lot of people use on custom installations. And so it just gives you the data. And all you have to do after that is hit right to controller. I don't have the controller selected right now, but if you just click right to controller, it will send those values. And as long as you have the, the sensor that matches that, uh, that's all you gotta do. And then just go down, do the same for the air temp sensor. Uh, let's go here. Say you have another GM sensor, and then just hit right to controller and hit okay. If you're curious, you can do a quick Google search for these different sensors if you don't know which sensor to use in your build. And uh, you can see really quickly how many you can buy, where you can get them, and their prices. Uh, this is the GM. I just typed in GM IAT sensor. And uh, like on eBay, you can find these Bosch sensors for fairly inexpensive, and then the BMW metric threaded coolant temperature sensor, which is pretty common for a lot of European stuff. Uh, they're just a, a Google search away and you can get one set up for your project. Well, that's really all there is to it. Just select which sensor you want to calibrate. Uh, leave this on the three point therm generator. You can do a custom file if you had a custom sensor but you would have to build that yourself and that's not in the scope of this video. So for all the basic sensors that you would typically find in most retrofit builds, this should cover you. Thanks for watching. 97% of you are not subscribed and if you wanna help the channel grow, please consider subscribing. Thank you.